In this tutorial, we're going to build a top hat. And so we're going to expand upon the knowledge that we've been gaining so far by starting to dig into edit poly. And we're going to start using that even more. All right, so uh, I've been working in 3ds Max a bit. I know that my setup is set up properly. Uh, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get right into modeling here at Create. I have Perspective Active. And so what I'm going to do in here is start by making a cylinder. So I'll click on cylinder, expands the rollout. I'm going to open up keyboard entry. Just a reminder, if I hover over the edge, that allows me to go from one column over to two. All right, I'm going to keep it on two because I want to see uh, more options over here to the side. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is keyboard entry. I'm going to give this a radius of 100 and a height of 10 and hit create. All right, so here we go. This is my basic uh, cylinder that I have I'm sitting out here. I think this is good to start with. Uh, if I click up here under default shading and click edged faces, uh, I see that I have a bunch of edge faces on the side. So I'm actually going to hit delete. And I'm going to come over here to keyboard entry and I'm going to leave it at 100 units, uh, 10 units high. But under parameters, I'm going to change the number of height segments. I'm going to change that to one. And then uh, the rest of this, I'm going to leave and I'll hit create. And now you'll see that the number of sides are different, All right? I only have just one edge going up, no connections there. So we're going to take this cylinder. We're going to right click on it at the very bottom. We're going to convert to editable poly. So make sure it says editable poly. If it says anything else like edit mesh, edit patch, you're going to want to undo that and then just right click and say editable poly. Okay, so at this point, make sure you have edged faces on because it's going to be very important. I click on the arrow here. I'm going to come down to polygon. So now when I click on a polygon, uh, I can start to use my tools. So what you want to find is you want to find the rollout for edit polygons. And your order may be slightly different. Uh, if there's something that you like, you can always rearrange this by moving these around. All right, so now my edit polygon shows up at the top here. All right, so I'm going to do inset. What I'm going to do is instead of clicking the button, I'm going to click the settings next to that. That opens up this little dialog pop up here. And if I click on the little spinner here, I can drag this in. All right, so we're going to make our hat about this thick, right, around 40 units. And we're just going to click the OK. All right, so now we kind of have the brim of our hat defined. So I'm going to make sure I have this polygon in the center selected. And now I'm going to come over here to edit polygons. I'm going to click on extrude. So here at extrude, I have it set to group. I'm just going to click and drag that up. And that's going to define it, the height of my hat. So I'm going to hold the middle mouse button and kind of pan, roll it to kind of zoom out a little bit so I can see how tall it is. There we go. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to click OK. All right. And you'll see, like, sometimes there's Max does occasionally run into shading errors where you could see it sort of changing the color on this, which is weird. But uh, notice also I can select a polygon and I could adjust it. If I think that's too much, I could click to the side. I'm going to just, with nothing selected, click Z in my other viewports to kind of center the hat again. All right. So now I've kind of defined a basic hat. I want to start to want to want to start giving it character. So under Edit Poly, I'm going to go into Edge, and I'm just going to select one of these vertical edges that makes up the height of the hat. And under Selection, I'm going to click Ring, and that grabs every parallel edge going all the way around. I'm going to come over here now to Edit Edges, and again, you want to find that rollout. And under Next to Connect, I'm going to click on Setting. And see that opens up the dialog for connect edges. I'm going to increase it to four. And I'm going to click OK. So now I've added more geometry. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a modifier on just the top part of the hat. So I'm going to click on just that one top polygon. And under my selection here, I'm going to grow that and grow my selection. So because I'm going to take this only the body of the hat here. And I'm going to come to modifier list and click on the arrow populate and then I can come down to taper and now with my taper I can adjust the amount right so I'm gonna 
Now it's kind of weird how you gotta play with it. Like if I give it a negative amount, then I can come in. That's weird. That's not what can happen. That's not what I want. So I'll probably want to take this the other direction. And then maybe just put them both back to zero by typing in zero to start over because that's just going to be a little bit easier to manage. Bring this out and then start to adjust the curve. Well, I'm having a really hard time with this today. I don't know why. All right, there we go. So if I increase the amount up, so if I put like 1.5, that's good. And I take the curve to like negative one. That's going to get me what I want. And so you can see even for me, like I don't always remember exactly what the values are. And so you just need to kind of click on it and adjust it as you go. All right. So uh, the next thing I want to do is I like the way this is looking. I want to make this permanent. So I'm just going to right click on my model and say convert to editable poly again. Notice over here the modifier stack. It's back to just the word editable poly. All right. I, you don't see the taper anymore. All that change I did to the top of the hat is gone. It's really important that you bake that change in and make it permanent. So next I'm going to go back into Polygon. Here I have the body of my hat selected. I'm going to click in negative space. I'm also going to come up here to the top and just click on select by object so I don't actually select and move anything. I want to take the brim of the hat and I want to bend it. So a couple ways I could do that. I can click up here in negative space and drag and that gets too much information so I can maybe hit shrink and shrink it down to just get kind of the, the body. Or I could orbit around to see the bottom. Click on that one polygon on the bottom and grow my selection. But then just keep in mind you got to orbit to make sure you have all the right stuff. But there we go. Right, that's The important thing is to go through and select the, the brim of the hat. So now for this, I'm going to use a different modifier. I'm going to use bend. So click on bend. I'm going to increase the angle. That's kind of weird. So I think what I need to do here is change the axis. It's not Y because you could see it up here on the top. It's not quite where I want. But if I do X, there you go. Now you start to see the hat, you know, bending. So I'm just going to change the curve. I think that looks really cool. I want to really, you know, give it a kind of Mad Hatter look. So I think this is looking pretty good. You see there's some weird... Uh, geometry errors happening right here. So we're going to fix that. We're going to right click on our model and say convert to edit poly. So again, we bake that change in. That's what that's called. Made that permanent. Now if I expand, go into polygon, I'm going to click in negative space. I'm going to orbit around to the bottom here. Click on that one polygon. I want to get the big polygon, right? Originally when I clicked, I got one of the polygons on the top of the brim. I don't want that. I want this large one on the bottom. Because right here, 3ds Max is uh, dynamically drawing where the edges go. I can go to display and turn on edges only. And you can kind of see that even though we're only seeing some edges. Let's click here and turn off grid. And click and maximize viewport. The software is going through and it's dynamically drawing where those edges are. As opposed to these ones that are the hard to find ones up there. So let's turn off edges only. I'm going to click Polygon, and then I'm going to grow my selection and just hit Delete on my keyboard. Now if I orbit around, here's my hat. One thing you need to keep in mind, if I go to Display and click on Back Base Cull, you'll see that there's nothing there. Right? The geometry, it's not actually drawing. It'll, it'll draw it if you keep that off, but there's, no actual, there's nothing actually there. And so we're going to use a modifier. If I come to Modifier List, I'm going to scroll down. I want to find one called Shell. And Shell takes whatever geometry you have and duplicates it and faces the polygon the other direction. So on that, I like to set the amount, the outer amount to zero, but I increase the inner amount to five. Because I like my cartoony hat to be a little bit bigger. All right, so there you go. Now we have our hat. We're going to just right click anywhere and say convert to edit poly. If I click in negative space, turn off edge faces, one thing you're going to notice right away is that it's got all these like hard faceted edges. So that's an easy fix and it's one you're going to need to do all the time. I'm going to click on the hat. So I went into element and I clicked on a polygon that selected all the what they call contiguous polys, all the connected polygons. If I come up here 
and I keep collapsing these rollouts until I find polygon smoothing groups. There it is. I want to hit auto smooth. And then if I click it against space, you'll see now it's gone through and smoothed out those polygons. Let's turn on edge spaces one more time. So sometimes what you want to do is go into polygon. I'm going to click on one polygon here. I'm going to hold the shift key and click on the polygon next to it. You see how as I hover over it, it changes? Holding shift and clicking on a polygon, it'll wrap all the way around. So what I can do in polygon smoothing groups is I can manually turn off that number two and now assign it a number three. And so that if you look at it, F4 to turn off edge faces, you see it now has a nice little, little break where the shading comes down. So it's almost like it's got a little band. There you go. There's your top hat. Make sure edge faces are on. Get a screenshot of that. You'll want to turn it in. Uh, last thing, let's just name it top hat. All right, make sure you get a screenshot of it uh, and save the max file and uh, the screenshot, turn those both in. Thank you.